What's up guys, I'm Shane. Welcome back to the career of a 99 overall quarterback. We're starting off season two as number three in the Heisman race, where we have some pretty good competition here, I'd say. And um, I'm doing a couple things differently. Number one, obviously, I changed the playbook. We're running an air raid. And number two, we're only playing quarterback now. I think it's a little unfair to have him playing every position. Like, of course we're gonna win the Heisman if we're also racking up like 70 tackles, five picks, kicking and all that other stuff. I did notice one thing because I thought the numbers were kind of weird looking. We kept trying to run the ball all season last year and it's because right here I did it backwards. So I had the run offense at like 60%. So I've cranked it up pass offense to 70 and we're gonna hope that works. And we'll do a different playbook next year. I think next year I might do like the spread option or something like that. But we'll mix it up a little bit. We're gonna keep the pass offense at 70% though. Now this year, we're going to take a look at two games in the regular season. We're playing USC this week, and we play North Texas next week, which obviously I bumped them up. They're like number 18 or 19 in the country right now. But I want to see the season opener, see how we play, and I want to see Colt Brennan II versus Deshaun Gaddy Jr. Aha, they do. I was looking. Some of these schools have more than two sets, so I don't have to wear the ugly uniform if I don't want to. Oh, this is the first time we're seeing Aloha Stadium in this playthrough. Um... Would you guys be upset if I made this the home stadium for North Texas? All right, new look offense, and I'm not just talking about the jerseys. Let's see how this first play, first drive goes. I don't actually know what an air raid does. I just know that, like, that's what uh, Case Keenum and all them used to run. It, like, Houston, Texas Tech was running it for a bit, and I know they wouldn't draft those quarterbacks. Ooh, an option play. Oh, could not truck that safety. All right, I'm going to take over for this one. It's fourth and two at about midfield. I don't know what the audibles are here. They have a halfback dive. It works in North Texas. It'll work for Hawaii, I think. And if not, what do I care? Perfect. Oh, beautiful deep pass. Look at that shot down the field. 35-yarder. Oh, Jesus. Okay. We smoked these guys last season. It looks like it's not going to go as well this time. Never mind. Okay, I start simming and look at these big passes he's getting. Look at him go. All the way down inside the five. No, never mind. It's a touchdown pass. First pass of the season. We already have 147 yards on the day. It's just the start of the second quarter. All right, I don't know who Jay Phillips is, but he's just dropped three straight passes here. Going for it on fourth down again. I guess we should put him back to kicker because uh, we're costing ourselves points. Oh, they got a pick. What are we going to do? Five seconds at a timeout. They got the touchdown somehow. Incredible. And it was Phillips who caught that one. Of all people. Colt Brennan is still doing kickoffs. Whoops. Alright, we're down by 21. It's just, it has not gone well in the second half. Colt's played fine. It's been everyone else around him falling apart. But he just completed three, like, 25 plus yard passes. So I guess we're just trying to see if we can turn it around. Or we're going to run out the clock, I guess. And a touchdown. Three on the day now. 403 yards, three touchdowns, only 11 incompletions, and half of those were uh, freaking drops. All right, well, there's another touchdown. I kind of wasn't expecting a 30-yard bomb. We got the extra point. Can we get the onside? Come on, Colt. I believe in you. No. All right, well, that's game over. All right, so final stats, 34 of 47, 483 yards, four touchdowns. Took seven sacks. Only one yard on the ground. Again, when you take seven sacks, that happens. All right, so it was not as close as it looks, but a seven-point loss to a top 25 team, much better. All right, guys, here we go. We're taking on North Texas in a perfectly even matchup. But again, they're going to have Deshaun Gaddy, 99 overall. They're going to have Jalen Darden, 99 overall. They're going to have Noville 99 overall, and I, they probably... I think I bumped up Nick Smith. Now I can't remember, because he wasn't even starting for them last season. Okay, so, um... 
We have the number one rated pass offense and 112 in rushing. We had eight rushing yards and somehow we're not dead last. Nick Smith and Noville. Oh man, I am getting so nostalgic for like four months ago. On thrown away, on dropped by Darden, on thrown away. How is Darden going to drop that? I gave, I gave him like 99 catching. Yep, Nick Smith is a 99. All right, I did do that. I didn't pump up Murphy. Crap. Where is Gaddy? Did he transfer? Oh my god, I think Gaddy might have transferred. I think they might not have adjusted the uh, death chart and left him like fourth on there. That would explain why Nick Smith didn't start last season. Now I gotta figure out where Deshaun Gaddy went. So last week against USC, we go for like these huge plays and now we're just doing dump offs. There, I sim one where I don't watch it and he gets 22. All right, now we're in the red zone. Let's tune back in. Oh, running touchdown. All right. Oh, that was a cheap shot. How dare you? It's fourth and one. I'm doing this for one reason and one reason only. What does it feel like to be on the other side of Noville? If anyone's going to stop this halfback dive. Nope. So it's just completely unstoppable. Oh, we got a touchdown. 32 yarder. All right. Hey, third and 20. They got a 30 yard pass. Nick Smith just ran a 69 yard pass in for a touchdown. We're just getting destroyed now. All right. We're down 17. There's five minutes left, but we're inside the 10. And hopefully we can convert. Now I'm just going to run the ball. All right. How'd that go for you? Muhammad just took you out. I hope you're proud. Never did that for me. Fourth and goal. Again, what am I good at? One yard. Now I don't know what you're going to do from here, but there you go. They tried for the onside, recovered by North Texas. And they put another touchdown. And we threw our first interception of the year. All right, so we got completely annihilated. On somehow got player of the game. What the hell is going on? And where's Deshaun Gaddy? All right, so passing, we went 30 of 56, 287 yards, a touchdown, and a pick. Only took one sack, so that's an improvement. We ran it for nine yards and a touchdown. So, yay. Starting off 0-2 is not ideal, but we did lose a lot of our talent last season. They were all seniors, so we only go up from here. I'm even toying with the idea of redshirting him one year just to see if the recruiting class is going to catch up. So, from here, the next time you'll hear my voice is going to be either in the conference championship, bowl game, or the offseason, depending on how our season goes. But you'll at least get a recap on what all this, the uh, stats were, and also I'm going to figure out where the hell Deshaun Gaddy went. Okay, and we are back. Now, before we get into anything, just before I forget, I did track down Deshaun Gaddy, and for some reason, he's transferring to Illinois. Now, as for Hawaii, we finished number 25 in the country. We finished on a 9-3 record. We lost those first two games. We also lost our game against Florida, and we smoked everybody else. 27 points, 21 points, 20 points, tw like everything. 59-17, 65-17. Utah State, we won, but it was a close one. Lost by two scores to Florida. Smoke Nevada, smoke Fresno. Like we just took care of everybody. Heisman Watch, we're number four right now. But again, last season we were number three, playing almost all the positions. This year we're number four, only playing quarterback. So we're moving up. Clearly, it's not that easy when you don't have the supporting cast around you. We did finish with 4,099 passing yards, 52 touchdowns, three picks. We had 522 rushing yards and eight touchdowns, so down from last season, but still respectable. But let's jump into this. We got a tough game against Utah State. We're the better overall team, but that's only because our defense is apparently good. And then, obviously, Colt Brennan the second. Markiplier ain't messing around today. 8-0 in the conference. I think we're moving. I don't think we're going to stick around. Nice pass rifled across the middle for 11 yards. Nice outside. Got that. Oh, broke a couple tackles. Took that one for 15. Try to take it off. Oh, he trucked him. Trucked all those defenders. Took it up. Still going. Eight-yard rush. Big third and three right here. We're out of field goal range, so we need this. Holly motion to the outside. Brennan takes off. Taken down just short. Looks like we're going to have to punt. Ooh, a couple of big plays here. Some big passes. A 12-yard penalty against the defense. We're set up. What are we at? The two? This will probably be a run play, but let's see. 
They went three and out on their last possession. Can we capitalize? Read option, in for a touchdown. He's thrown three passes. The first one was incomplete. And then he just bombed it down. We're inside of the 15 again. Apparently, we're just going to smoke Utah State today. All right, here we are. We're still sitting here third and 10. We're going to convert. We're going to settle for the field goal here, guys. And we throw a pick into the end zone. It's only number four on the season and honestly, only number nine for the career. But what a terrible time for it. And they just got an 80-yard pass for a touchdown. So I'd say they capitalized. All right, we got this at the 10. If we don't convert here, then I'm going to stop watching inside the red zone. Because clearly I'm just making you screw up. Yeah, come on, what is this? Two-yard sack. Nice little out route. In for a touchdown. That's more like it. Taking back the lead. Oh, we went for it. Fourth and seven. Got a 25-yard touchdown after everyone else was dropping everything. Extra points good. We take a 21-7 lead. Sat it on another touchdown. I got a feeling we got this game in the bag. And another long 32-yard touchdown. 35 to 7 here with the extra point. All right, first and goal from the 7. We got this game in hand. I just want to take a look in the game again real quick. Almost got that guy off sides. Yeah, we're not good at scrambling, apparently. He, like, waits too long. 34 of 56, because these guys keep dropping everything. Curl route wide open. Stopped him short. Looks like we're going to take a field goal. All right, well, that's another blowout like we've had the rest of the season. Now I'm wondering how they managed to keep it within four points last time. All right, so my final stats on the day, 36 of 58, 546 yards, four touchdowns, one pick. But what that means is we are two touchdowns away from tying Colt Brennan Sr.'s record of 58 touchdowns in a season. So clearly the air raid is helping. We also added on seven carries for 11 yards and a touchdown. All right, now let's skip forward a week. Let's see who we're playing in a bowl game. All right, looks like we're still coming up short. Only finished number three in the Heisman. Distant third, it looks like. But we are playing Texas. Got them in the Fiesta Bowl. My favorite. Well, we were first team All-American at quarterback, so that's some progress. We were only second team conference last year. We also took home the Maxwell Award, as well as the Davey O'Brien. So finally added some hardware. All right, it looks like Texas should completely annihilate us, but maybe we stand a chance. Number one passing offense, 122 rush offense. Yep, that's our season in a nutshell. Opening drive. You uh, may not see a lot of highlights from this one. Well, six yards leads to completion. And, oh, broken tackle. Runs it up. Nice 13-yard catch by Pinocchio. Little out route. Only picks up three yards, though. Oh, that's right. Houston finished number three in the country. Unfortunately, they could not get into the championship game, but they're undefeated. And they just won their bowl game. So it's like UCF all over. Meanwhile, oh, Texas defenders aren't people to mess with. You'd think I would know that better than anyone. Definitely a methodical drive here, but we are getting close to field goal range. Oh, another nice big run. Never mind what I said last time. Looks like we have figured out how to scramble. Oh, another big run. Trucking that dude. Brings it all the way up to the 10-yard line. Let's go. Get those touchdown passes, though. Two more and you tie it. Three more and you break it. Nice read option. In for a rushing touchdown. Hey, every score helps. We got the initial lead on Texas. Oh, we went for it on fourth and three. Only got the one-yard rush, but the immediate next play, Ellinger throws an interception to us. Nice little loft. Picked off. That's a pick six. So, no. we. Oh, wait. Brennan's going to catch him. No, he broke off that tackle. We take him down inside the five. So, not quite a pick six, but still a problem. And they still only managed a field goal, so our defense holding them inside the red zone. Now, Texas finally scored. We went back and forth with three and outs over and over, like, the entire second quarter. That's all we did. All right, two-minute drill time. Actually, we only got 49 seconds. What can we do here? Perfect. Perfect. Nice broken tackle. That's a good gain, 17 yards. Yeah, that stalled out completely. 
Uh, Texas is starting to pour it on now. We need to start coming back. And we fumbled it away. Yeah, we're just not a good enough team to hang with these top teams. We can blow out all of our competition, but put us with anyone tough and we're just not going to stand a chance. We're going for it every fourth down, too. We're just throwing it. It's just going back and forth. They miss a field goal. Neither team can get anything going. Oh, and then we threw a pick. We threw another interception. That's ball game. We scored the first play of the game, had a 7-0 lead, and it all went downhill from there. We are going to move to the Pac-12, so don't expect the bowl game next year. We're going to take Utah State with us, I think. We're just going to completely annihilate the Mountain West. Maybe leave them with their automatic bowl bit anyway, so like a 5-6 and six team makes it or something. Not a good game for us. 276 yards, zero touchdowns, three picks. So Colt Brennan Sr.'s record still stands. We did have 11 carries for 61 yards and a touchdown. So we were running the ball better. Next season, we're going to go to the Pac-12, like I said. Probably take Utah State with us. I'll realign everything. I might put Colt Brennan back playing safety or something. Because the defense is, apparently cannot do it without us back there. Um, I'm also going to reset the head coach's skill tree. There's no real point in us recruiting now. Like, whoever he's going to bring in, what, for our senior season. So I'm going to put all of his points into his game day stuff. So hopefully we can get, like, the big game thing. Like, all of that stuff I want to have activated. Hopefully the clutch skill, too. Maybe we can get all the way up there. So, thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked the video, please be sure to hit like down below. If you want to see more from me, be sure to subscribe. Hit that notification bell to get it delivered directly in your inbox every single time I upload. If you have any suggestions for future series, players you'd like to see, and what colleges you would like to see them on, I personally kind of want to do Marcel Ship at UMass, because I feel like outside of Victor Cruz, that's the only UMass alum people know. No, I'm not going to mention Vladimir Dukas. Why would I do something like that? But anyone you want to see, smaller schools preferably. I, I The kicker I might have to do at a big school, but there are a couple guys like Marty Booker, for ULM, I kind of want to do him at wide receiver because do any of you guys remember Marty Booker? I do. He was a monster in ESPN 2K5. But anything you guys want, leave that down below. Everything you leave down there, I will always respond to unless you are the trolliest of trolls. Thank you guys for watching. I'm Shane. I'm out.